So the first question we have here is uh, over on YouTube. What would you recommend to set Intune device category uh, on a set of devices? What? Oh, I'm assuming it's how to set it or just use it because I, I like it a lot. Um, uh, if I would go over to one of my Intune tenants here, let's see, uh, devices... Uh, Windows, um, because I tag the machines that I have in my lab uh, physically. I, I tagged with uh, uh, if I go to properties here, I tag them with the device category. And you can do this for PowerShell if you want. You can also do it select here in the console, of course, and uh, pick a different tag that you have or category that you have. Uh, but I use that in, in my scripts later down the road. Uh, so for example, the script that we have here that I was troubleshooting actually in a, in a course the other day uh, because I had managed somehow, and I'm, I'm not alone on this, but I, I have successfully uh, installed multiple versions of the same uh, graph module at the same time, which caused my scripts to basically blow up and say, I don't know what you're trying to do here, but this is not working. <laughs> uh, so I had to write a script to get rid of all of those versions. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but long story short, uh, that's a sidebar, by the way. But um, this was what I had to do <laughs> to, <laughs> to get rid of them first. I have to remove some other modules, and then I have to run this one liner to loop through everything that was not authentication and delete that, and then go ahead and remove the authentication. And after all that mess, then I can install the latest version that I already had. And then the script just worked. I was like, ah. Good of you to solve this with PowerShell, because the last time I had to deal with it, I was like an angry gorilla just deleting all of the directories out of my PowerShell module directory. That That's also a trick. <laughs> I've probably been faster because it took me 20 minutes to uninstall them. Hey, well, you have it for the future when this happens again. Yeah. So anyhow, <laughs> uh, connecting to my tenant, uh, I think I'm corrected already. Uh, and I can now do a listing of all devices that, for example, in this case, have that particular category. So if I run that one liner and check my devices, it will give me those, uh, for example, my 22 device here. So, and, and then I can do whatever I need to do to, in this case, uh, force a sync on, on all of them at once. And I'm not sure how many of you that have clicked through the user experience in the console but this is faster. So. Indeed. And I believe you could actually take those categories. Uh, I apologize if you mentioned this already, but I think you can take those categories and actually build out dynamic device uh, groups and things like that as well uh, yep. once you have them set. So. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. All right. So we did have a follow up uh, question on the device categories that you were talking about. Uh, they're trying to set this on a set of devices via PowerShell and or Graph. Um, did you have an example that you can share on how to do that? I know what you, I think you had showed getting the category. Uh, I don't think I have a ready-made script um, that sets them. I might have done it from a customer or two, but I don't think I have one in my lab. Shouldn't be too hard, though. No, okay. And it, it will be through graph uh, if you want to automate that. Let's see. And it have to be done for the new module also. Updating, there are some examples out there. Uh, this one from Daniel from October. That one seems to be used in the beta module. Uh, 
yeah, so something like um, see if maybe the up, update, this is probably what you were seeing too, Johan, the update MG device management manage device, or if you do still have to use the beta module, uh, MG beta device management manage device would be the commandlet to, to take a look at, I think. Or if um, if you don't uh, if this commandlet isn't working for that particular endpoint, then you can always do some manual requests um, to that endpoint. Uh, seen that with a couple of things where the endpoint exists, but the um, commandlet, the associated commandlet, either doesn't work or isn't fully functional in a way that you would expect. <laughs> Yeah, I stumbled across a blog post here that I think is pretty spot on. I will put that in your chat so you can uh, share it. Okay. Thank you. So. Fairly recent as well. Yeah. So... Seems to be a sample script available from the GitHub repo by halfway on that page. So maybe that. Okay. 